Did you finish the model? Yep. Wow, that looks great. The process is so complicated, though. How are we going to show it in a way that's not boring? Oh, I have an idea. My the country, you don't. My the country, you don't. My the country, you don't want none unless you got oxygen. This dude named Mito used to ride motorcycle, help with cellular respiration. Yeah, there were three cycles: glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain give you energy to breathe when your strength has been drained. Now that's real, real, real. Yeah, those three cycles. It's time to reveal. Who's going first? Glycolysis is the deal. It's anaerobic, no oxygen for this field. Let's get started, shouldn't we? A molecule of glucose breaks into two molecules of pyruvate. Bonds are broken, releasing ATP, and there's a net gain of two ATP. Four electrons are given to an electron carrier called NAD+, which is converted into NADH, used later in the electron transport chain. But mitochondria don't want none unless you got oxygen. And glycolysis all occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. Yep. The next process is the Krebs cycle, and it occurs in the matrix. The matrix? Oh my gosh! What's in the matrix? Oh my gosh! What's in the matrix? Oh my gosh! What's in the matrix? What's in the matrix? Wait. What's a matrix? Mitochondria has squiggly folds. It's called the matrix. But what does it hold? It's unique DNA, ribosomes, and enzymes. But the second process also happens inside. Now that's bang, bang, bang. Crab cycle, let's start anyway. It produces two ATP and NADH. Sorry, Nick Minaj, I'm running ahead. Pyruvate reacts to form acetyl-CoA. One CO2 is produced, and high-energy electrons are passed to NAD to produce NADH. Acetyl combines with another compound, making citric acid. This acid is broken and releases two carbons. The energy released is captured by the five locations of electron carriers. Mitochondria don't want none unless you've got oxygen. Wow, I'm out of breath. To sum it short, the Krebs cycle releases uh, produces the CO two. You release into the atmosphere, and it's anaerobic, right? It doesn't require oxygen. Yes, that is correct. Great. I guess we're done with the project. You forgot the electron transport chain. Oh no. Oh my gosh, the electron transport chain. Oh my gosh. This stuff's hurting my brain. Why does Nicki Minaj have to make everything so complicated? Fine, I'll explain. The electron carriers pass their electrons into the ETC. At the end of the electron transport chain, enzyme called ATP synthase combines H plus ion to the electrons to produce H2O. There's a charge difference, so the ATP synthase ends up spinning, attaching a phosphate to ADP, creates ATP. Like we learn in class. Also, the ETC produces the most ATP, a whopping thirty-six. Finally, we're done. I'm sorry you had to listen to my bad singing. No, it's fine. So the electron transport chain occurs in the mitochondria and is anaerobic. Yes. Awesome. Well, I'll see you later, Jasmine. See you.